Rod hit his first home run of the year. Actually, it was his first run home run of two years. <laughs> and here's a guy that now has 655 home runs. The record in baseball. I'm going to help you out here because you don't know the record in baseball. I don't know the record in baseball, but I have it on a teleprompter there because <laughs> when I wrote this, uh, that I was doing Woody's World, I said, I don't know. I don't know how many A-Rod has, and I don't have it, any idea how many Bonds has. Bonds has 762. So that means that A-Rod will get a gigantic bonus yep. when he surpasses Bonds. My question for all of you out there is, is he going to ha- pass Bonds? And secondly, do you care? Do you really care whether he passes Bonds or not? I don't. Those numbers, those two numbers mean nothing to me. Baseball is based on stats and numbers. Yep. Like, unlike any other sport. In basketball, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has more points than anybody. LeBron probably will pass him at some point. In football, Peyton Manning has most of the, the records for passing and running records. Uh, 2,000 yards means something. But really, no. What matters is... Batting average of 400. Last guy to do it, Ted Williams. Guys who hit 61 home runs. Roger Maris to break Babe Ruth's record of 60. I paid no attention to the PED records. They, I don't know that they should have an asterisk. I just think they should be in another room. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you got those records? All right, we're going to put you in the Hall of Fame. But here's the room. You have to go through security guards. And, and it's past the bathroom. And it's down the hall. And it's in the basement. And we'll put you in there, Barry. And we'll put you in there, A-Rod. And we'll put you in there, Sammy. And you guys have a great time. You can show up every year. And you can hang out in the basement. And we hope that the water main breaks. And you're up to here with water. And you can sit there with your bus because you were bus. I don't care about 60, 665 home runs by A-Rod. I don't. I don't care that Barry Bonds had 762. They're the most tainted records in all of sports. They're meaningless. I don't care anything about it. You know what I care about? Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron set the all-time home run record. And everybody knows that number. What's that number? Uh, I don't know that number. 715. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Chris, for jumping in there. So, uh, it, everybody remembers, except Chris, that as Aaron rounded the base, bases, there were two guys who jumped out on the field and rounded with him, and they wouldn't even give him his I remember money. that, but and I wasn't we there. had on recently on the show uh, a guy who's working with Tim Tebow, <laughs> this is going to amaze you, named Tom House. Tom House's most famous accomplishment as a baseball pitcher was catching A-Rod, I'm uh, sorry, catching Hank Aaron's a uh, home run setting uh, record ball. And you go, a p- he couldn't have caught it. He's a pitcher. It wouldn't have been a home run. He was in the bullpen <laughs> warming up, and he caught the ball. <laughs> and he said he doesn't have it anymore. Uh, it's just a shame. It's, it's a damn, damn shame that Barry Bonds will live forever with the home run record. Who's going to get it? Because PEDs are being... If not wiped out, they're being minimized now. I'm sure that players will eventually find some other form of some other drug that can be hidden and they can use to uh, get around baseball's tradition and baseball's rules and regulations. But for now, A-Rod is chasing Barry Bonds, and nobody outside of New York City cares. Nobody cares and knows the number that Bonds has. Nobody cares or knows the number A-Rod has. Have at it, A Rod. You still suck. I'm Woody Page, and that's my opinion. That's been brought to you by Shanahan Steakhouse, which has been selected by the public as a best restaurant in Denver. Not a best restaurant, it's the best restaurant in Denver. If you want a steak, place to go. If you want side dishes, and I had a couple of side dishes a couple of nights ago there that were just sensational. That lobster mac and cheese, the creamed corn. Ooh, that's a great southern dish. It's 2015 Diner Choices winter. Imagine all the open table uh, choices that they have, but they picked Mike Shanahan's restaurant. Book a reservation today at ShanahanSteakhouse.com and tell Mark I said hello because he gets lonely without me. <laughs>